Good morning guys, this is Rusty78609 in his luxurious studios in Central Texas, USA. His travel trailer, his 2013 Jayco J-Flight bunkhouse model RV I live in. I have full-time RV for 25 plus years. And I live in an RV right now in Central Texas under a cover. Perfect. So what can I say? Let's let's talk to Alexa for a minute. Alexa, what's the date? Today is Monday, September 11th. Alexa, what time is it? It's 7.04 a.m. Alexa, what's the temperature? Currently, in Kingsland, it's 62 degrees with clear skies. Today, you can expect lots of sun, with a high of 88 degrees and a low of 57 degrees. It's actually 52 here, which is cooler out here in the, in the boonies in the hills. But anyway, what else? Oh, we'll hear a joke, too. Hey, Google, tell me a joke. This might make you laugh. What's the difference between ignorance and apathy? I don't know, and I don't care. Cute. Very cute. Alexa, tell me a joke. How is duct tape like the force? It has a dark side, a light side, and it binds the galaxy together. A little weak. A little weak there, Alexa. A little weak on that one. <clears throat> anyway, we've got comments. <laughs> it is Monday, and she gave you the date. It's the 11, it's the 11th. This is David. He says, shotgun. You know, we, whenever you used to go riding in cars years ago, if you were going out to the car, somebody would say, shotgun. Well, what that meant was they got the front seat opposite the driver, okay, on the right side. And, in, and out in the country where I live, you didn't want that spot because that was the spot that had to open all the gates. But anyway, uh, he says, shotgun. Uh, this is fast bite on boondocking. It's a good idea to wait till you get your, wait to get your RV before thinking of upgrade. Yeah, it is. I kind of got the cart before the horse here. A lot of people don't even know what that means because they've never seen a cart or a horse. <laughs> but anyway, when you get it, you do the walk around in it and see what you sh what would work and what is just a pipe dream. That is too true. Yep, got it. Thank you, fast bite, boondocking, etc. Elmer. Rusty78609, I have followed you long enough to know nothing is set in stone. It would not surprise me if you went camping again in your new truck, with me either, or if you went out and bought a new Toyota Prius. <laughs> I hear you. You can tell you want to hit the road again. Your channel is truly miss a day miss a lot it's like watching dallas subject to change without notice lol bet better than what's on television well ain't nothing on tv for me <clears throat> thank you elmer this is gavin on boondocking and stuff it says o2 cools that's a fan o2 cool is a fan are the best i have two and use them while boondocking boondocking i actually use a cooler and set the O2 cool on top. On uh, set the O2 cool on it and flip the cooler carrying handle up and over the O2 cool legs and it holds it in place. And I sleep like a baby while it sits there at the perfect height. Well, Gavin, that's what you call improvising. Good for you. <clears throat> Comment call creations, etc. Joyce, happy Sunday to you. Well. Adios Sunday. Hello Monday. Boondocking Grandma Patty. Remember Reverend Jim from the television show Taxi? No, I don't. Christopher Lloyd always cracked me up. I never, I never watched that show. Never watched TV shows. How about that? But Reverend, we got a Reverend Jim's bar up here. <clears throat> Boondocking Rocamo One. That. It's a beautiful day in Texas. What a nice day to go for a ride. It was a beautiful day yesterday. We've had some nice weather for this time of the year, or early September. Actually, you know, this is the 11th. One day closer to the new RV, I hope. Uh, towing with towing a fifth wheel. <clears throat> I did that a few times. 
Romero uh, it says, do you recommend towing a fifth wheel or a travel trailer long distance from Mexico to Oregon or to Mexico from Oregon? Uh, do I recommend? I mean, you can tow either one. Doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, it just it's your choice. I mean, uh, some people prefer towing a fifth wheel. Some people prefer towing a travel trailer. A trailer. It says, I know some people do it with with a motorhome, but I think but I think with a tra with the travel trailer or fifth wheel, it's probably going to be much be too much stress on everything. Well, that's you know, it's your choice. You you pick it and go, man. Uh, but I've pulled a travel trailer thousands of miles, never had a problem. Well, I mean, never had a problem. I mean, it, it it's tiring just like it is any doing any kind of driving. Comment call Karen <clears throat> says Aloha, Rusty. In the video you did of your new trailer, I noticed the sloping wall in front bed bed area. Yeah, they they're always like that. Now they've all kind of made them a little aerodynamic. You could increase your visual perception of spaciousness by applying a graphic or photographic wall covering on that wall. Check out pixers.com for a unique strip able strippable wallpaper can easily remove. You might select a refreshing photo of rushing stream or sunlit forest or very or vast grassy pasture that visually opens that tight blank wall thank you for your videos aloha toots 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 i think but anyway yeah i, I might do that you know i've thought about doing that here but i just i'm i'm a man okay i ain't really a decorator uh this is mark on boondocking can't wait to watch your your transition into your new rv and i certainly appreciate each one of your beautiful driving videos thank you very much this is roy on boondocking dad and I would take a Sunday drive to Newman, Texas from El Paso. Really enjoyed that as a kid. Just for a piece of pecan pie. Miss the company. Thanks for letting us tag along. Yeah, when I grew up on a farm in Central Texas, the mother and the girls would go to church and daddy and boys, me and my brother would go to the... Well, we'd say we were going to go check the crops and then we'd go down to the... Uh, coffee shop in Kennedy, Texas. Daddy, I don't know that my dad drank coffee though. He may have, I don't know. We didn't drink it at home, nobody did. Uh, this is on uh, Google and something. Anyway, it says, this is cloud host website, extermination of the evil white race. I said, what about the evil, what about, how about the whole human evil, evil human race? I mean, I guess you could do that. Let's see, I don't like that one that much. Let's get rid of that. Uh, cloud host again. What if government entities are giving the tech companies the most money to push social engineering? <clears throat> I don't care what they're pushing. They ain't bothering me out here in the middle of nowhere. They can push away. Mike 20 SM boondocking. When the wide load truck was tailgating you around the 10 minute mark, it made me laugh imagining you in place of Dennis Weaver in Steven Spielberg's movie Duel. Uh, well, you know, I, I, it wasn't a duel there. If I had to, I'd have got off the road and let him have it. <laughs> Howard Moses, cool, health tip. Yeah, cherry juice or cherries. Four, uh, Eddie, Eddie, this is Eddie on health tip. Four ounces of cherry juice with four ounces of club soda over ice is great. Also half and half, and half with orange juice and soda. Sounds like a good drink to me, babe. Might want to add something else to it, though. Health tip. PJ Biker left a link to Cherry Bundy Tart Cherry Juice Drink 32 Fluid Ounces. Thank you, PJ. He also left one to uh, uh, Light. says less sugar and carbs. He left a link to another one. So, PJ, you did a good job on my health tip. Thank you very much. This is Wayne Make Wayne on... On health tip, he says, beer. And I said, certainly. Well, of course. Uh, Michael, on health tip, I add a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with the mother along with the cherry juice and drink it every morning. I had gout, and this took care of the problem. Good. Yeah, yeah, cherry juice is 
it takes care of the what causes gout is a thing called it's called purines it, it just accumulates in your blood and causes pain in your toes primarily it, it's usually your big toe for gout boondocking michael there is an app there is an app for android phones that helps prevent overheating go to the play store and look at df defender dfndr it's free and takes care of the maintenance of your phone i got a new phone from cricket and it came with it and it actually works well that's interesting i'll check on that i, I will uh, this is on the tab new camp a small lightweight travel trailer robin hey rusty if you like this one you should check out the little guy max i have they're, they're, they're just a little too small a little too pricey and health tip Real fresh cherries, even out of season, canned, etc., are good for you, joint-wise. Yeah, your joints. Yeah, it it, uh, it reduces in, they're they're uh, anti-inflammatory. Okay. Uh, this is Roy on Q uh, on Health Tips says QVC sold eighty-five thousand Echoes today. Wow, that's a lot. Eighty-five thousand in one day. Wish y'all would use my link, buy 85. <laughs> use my Amazon link. Uh, anyway, Mark H. Health Tip. I'll try it. Thank you, Sir Rusty AA. Amazon Associates, not Alcoholic Anonymous. Esquire. Uh, Romero Health Tip. Thanks for the tips and the most, most recent video of yours. Thank you, Romero. Uh, this is Lillian. She says, Mr. Winger, 1951, you're so right. Well, let's see what Mr. Winger, 1951, said. Health tip, Mr. Winger, 1951. Generalized vitamin supplements, as you mentioned, make up a multi-billion dollar scam for the general customer. Vitamins for specific deficiencies, that is B12, folate, iron, which is a mineral along with zinc, and a few others are easily corrected. <clears throat> The sake of taking vitamins for the sake of doing so is a total waste of money. I have no doubt that natural supplements, as you are addressing, are quite valuable, available, and relatively cheap. Yeah, it, try to get it from your food and not from a pill, okay? Health tip, Mike Rains. Google mel melatonin. He's got metformin life extension. Cherry juice, red wine, coffee, and now maybe... Metformin help. I cannot afford to live forever. Alec, actually, it's melatonin. Uh, natural man boondocking. I agree that if the temp goes above 85, it is not fun <clears throat> to be in an RV. <clears throat> I have found that in any RV, if the outside temperature <clears throat> is uh, goes below 30 degrees at night or above 85 degrees in the day, a person will be uncomfortable boondocking. That is very true. Of course, in those cases, in my RV, I use my gas heater or my roof AC while running my gener generator. I don't like to run either of these unless I have to, and then for as short a time as possible, Possible, hopefully not for, for not more than an hour or so per day. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't have a generator, but uh, I rarely run my uh, furnace, rarely, because it, it sucks up propane quick. This is on comment call, Karen. Every time you say the A word, because if I say it here, mine goes off. My A answers you, and it's often a different answer. Yours didn't answer the Hurricane Irma question, but mine did. Yeah, it's strange how that works, because uh, you can ask the same question at a different time of the day, and it'll answer it. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, boondocking, be bold in 7-Eleven. The more batteries you have, the more capacity you get amps hours. Helps for those overcast days. Think you get much more airflow throughout the trailer with Max Air or Fantastic Fan. And I, I may end up getting a Max Air. But as, as you say, let's get the trailer first and see how she goes. By the way, do you live anywhere near the Lone Ranger? Yeah. Yeah, I do. As far as I know. I might be the Lone Ranger. Health tip. Grandma Patty, cherry juice is also good for the throat. Well, I hope so. We're going to find out because I'm getting some today. Actually, I'm going to get some uh, cherry juice and I'm going to get some frozen uh, organic cherries and put them in my breakfast. 
That way I'll just put three or four in there every morning. Lillian on health tip. Hi, I have always liked cherries and juice. I used to drink the juice from the cherry jar. Nice on top of ice cream with chocolate syrup. Yeah, I hear you. I bet it is. They say chocolate stops pain and real ice cream is made from cream, calcium for bones. So what we grew up with was good for us. Yep, that sounds good to me. Again, thanks. Well, thank you, Lillian. Uh, this is Woody uh, on our pod or Winnebago. Somebody did a compare or, or talked about them. This is Woody. Rusty, I have a 2017 and a half Winnebago drop 170K. Has an additional kitchen outside. <clears throat> Lots of room. Sleeps four. Very well made. Excellent quality. Beautiful gel coat in red. Roll tide. Very lightweight with lots of extra features like alloy wheels, alloy aluminum fenders, very retro. Uh, had an A-class previously and like this one better. Quality as good as the A, Newmar Mountain Air. <clears throat> I went with the Winnebago after looking at all three. Yeah, well, th that's a good unit, no doubt. Uh, tiny home, this is Huak Young Sio. Uh, very good, and he wrote it in Japanese, I guess. Yeah, I, it's, and I can't read it, but it just says very good. Well, thank you. Health tip, Kevin. Hi, Rusty. I take frozen tart cherries and coconut milk, mix them in my Vitamix, and make ice cream. Good for you, Kevin. Stay healthy. It's the key. Uh, I've got three more, and we'll end it. RVing. Trip planning. I got another tip on trip planning today I'm going to do because I ran across something that's very interesting. Uh, this is RVing. B Buzz 8. Thanks for the driving video, Rusty. I always wonder which way you'll go with the Y in the road. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's my, that's it. We, you know, what is it? It's something about choosing the path less traveled. <clears throat> this is RV trip planning. B Buzz 8. Oh, he already just said that. And this is another our 2018 Coachman. Scotty, cool Coachman Clipper Cadet. Did you get one, Rusty? I, I have one on order. It should be here any... Either, I'm, I'm hoping this week, but it probably, it'll probably be next week. Or the last... It, who knows? I'm not for I don't know. I just know it's coming. Uh, shift into high. This is the last one. Boondocking. They added air to your tires when you were at discount tires. Sometimes just a pound or so will make the difference in MPG. Enjoy the video. Yeah, it seems like since I took my pickup to discount tire and had the tires balanced and, you know, aired up that it's getting better mileage. It's up over 26 now. So anyway, guys, for those of you that use the Amazon link, thank you very much. For those of you that are new subscribers and don't know what I'm talking about, I am an Amazon affiliate, doesn't mean much. Basically what that means is, I'm putting links to Amazon products in all the descriptions of my videos now. It doesn't mean you have to buy that product. But if during that shopping session, you buy a product, then I get a small commission. Uh, or if you use that link and buy other products, I get a small commission. Uh, it's not much, but if enough people do it, uh, it'll pay for my traveling, <laughs> or it'll help pay. That's a fact. So anyway, for those that are you that are using the Amazon links, thank you very much. But just remember that you don't have to buy that product. If you buy anything at Amazon during that shopping session, you know, if you use the link, go to Amazon and buy anything, then I get a small commission, and that's how that works. So anyway, guys, from Central Texas, USA, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy USA made when you can, drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day will not hurt you, actually it's good for you, it will help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it will help you lose weight, it'll help you lose weight because you'll feel full and you won't want to snack or eat so much. <clears throat> Take deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth several times a day, why? Because that relieves stress, relieving stress lowers your Blood pressure, lowering your blood pressure, it's good for you. And, you know, with, you know, just focus more on keeping your health. Eat less. That's hard to do, I know. Hard for me to do. And uh, eat better, you know. Don't eat out so much. But anyway, having said that, from Central Texas, USA, I'm fixing to go do my walking. 
and I'll post this video and then I'm going to do another one on uh, uh, kind of uh, a way to plan a trip. Yeah, I, I found a, a way to do a real good way to do it, actually. So anyway, thumbs up, guys. Adios. Bye bye.